Digital Network. Stand in. Coming up on this week's episode, a woman goes to the bathroom only to find a rat in her toilet. Our guest, Thomas Knox, tells us about Date While You Wait, and as always, our unseen clip of the week. Now let's get on with the show. Transfer is available. available to the next and last stop is... Last stop is... You're tuning in to the subway creatures. You're tuning in to the subway creatures. We're in the studio. It's another episode. Rick McGuire joined alongside Kim Congdon. PDD, yo, from the BX. What's the deal? Ear. What up, man? Chilling, man. <laughs> What's yeah. up, PD? Chilling, chilling, yeah, chilling, you know what I'm saying? So excited that you're here. Yo, thanks, yeah, for, thanks I, for letting me be here. You a know native what I'm New Yorker. It's you're, an you're, honor. you're born and raised. Born and raised in the Bronx. The boogie down. Boogie down. Oh, First it was man. a two train, and then I, and then now I'm off the six train. Okay. Damn. You know what I'm saying that's you, six you, train. You ever took the six train to the last stop? No. What? To the last no. stop? No. Yeah. No, you get to see every flavor on the, every like every, <laughs> every flavor. Every stop is a different flavor. You don't know what's gonna come, and then it changes. Like once you get to like one tenth, no. one o third. You know what, what I'm saying? Shit, get a little nicer when you get to one o third. Especially now, nicer. they keep moving that back. Like mm-hmm. that, you know that line. What's the keeps last stop? Moved. Pelham, Pelham Park. Pelham oh, Bay I think Park. I have been there. Mm-hmm. If you ever went to City Island, if you was going local, you could take the train to the bus or the train. Okay, to that the sounds familiar. Uber. What uh? What stop are you? Last stop, baby. Oh, you are the last stop. Pelham Bay Park to mm. the to the cab or the bus. There you go. Well, then you must have seen some shit yeah. in your day taking yeah. the train. Yeah. What would you say? I've been robbed one, but like when you you ever take the bus? The you, bus is what, live too. The bus is I. The bus is scarier to me personally than the train. It's less. There's less people though on the bus. I think that's what makes it a little scarier. I feel it's, like that's what makes it safer. Sh- shit goes down and there's no one around. I don't know. I've also seen some crazy, crazy people taking those cross town buses. Mm. But um, wait, did you did you say you got robbed? When I yeah, when I was younger on the bus though, when oh. I was on the train. Okay, see, so you're, you're proving my point right now. True. What true, uh, true, true. what uh, was it, what was that like? Well, Jesus, was there not weapons involved? Rob, nah, I like- got punched in the face, yo. <gasps> I was, I was, it caught me off guard. So I was sit, I was standing by the back, but I, by the doors and shit. And I had my little, my little Jesus, my little, you know what I'm saying? I have my little chain with the little, with the little medallion, with the little Lazarus, you okay, know, Lazarus yeah. with the sheep. Yeah. I had the little sheep with the okay. little, with the little ruby. They told me it was a ruby. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like on the joint. And then so I'm just like, la da la, just cooling. And then wham! And then like I fell kind of out the back doors. It was yeah. like I don't stop. So I kind of fell out. And then, just keep, and then they started running. That wasn't very holy of them. Nah, damn, they ran your shit. Yeah, they ran my shit crazy, and then I wow. ran after them like I was going to do something. <laughs> I wasn't going to do nothing. Yeah, well, we always talk shit. about on this show. It's like I don't know. I don't know if this was the situation, but uh, teenagers in the city mm-hmm. are the scariest people, at least to me. They're the scariest people in the fucking world. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't give a no fuck. fucking. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. They also have yeah. that mentality of like, I'm not 18 yet. Dude. Right. But yeah, for adults, I can't even go to jail. Like yesterday, I was on a bus. Uh, these kids, same shits. I, there was like some kids. They was talking loud, and then they was like somebody kept saying your mother, and something. And then they was throwing a honey bun at each other, and I was like, <laughs> you know, these niggas throw honey buns at each other, <laughs> fucking honey buns. Yeah, and they they they're daring someone to hush them, and then like it hit a dude because you know it's a, pa- a packed fucking bus, and you yeah. got we uh, talk about it every fucking time. It's it's they run they run in packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, so yeah. many of them. But you got to hold your fucking ground, son, because you got to have that I don't give a fuck. That's why I be, when I post <laughs> up, I'm like, yo, nigga, I will body you. You got to act like you have a gun. It's a face you can make. Wait, would you hit a teenager? Hell yeah. Or at least I'll be like, yo, what the fuck, yo? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make yourself big. Yeah, yeah. Make yeah. yourself real but big. But if they, if they got, I would have to fight because I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> fuck is you going to, now you get jumped because you could have just punched two people. Well, I know, and, and they got legs too. They they they're out yeah. usually. They, just like with your chain, yeah, they, they're out. One, it wasn't even two piece. It was a, it was just one drumstick. Boop, <laughs> it was a one piece. Boop. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah. What about the train? I'm sure you've seen some shit on the train. <sighs> What's the craziest thing to ever happen on the train? Happen to me? Yeah. yeah. I got I got head on the train. Oh, there you go. Look at that smile. Too. Wait. So I get videos of people. 
either having sex or getting head all the time on the train. We use it for our bonus content mm-hmm. that we uh, we show people who pay for the subscription to the network. The premium and Snapchat. I wonder if you're <laughs> yeah, on we're that. Yeah. That's that premium this podcast shit. is slutty. Uh, yeah, it really it's it's dirty as hell. I mean, we like can't even podcast? show it. Check out her premium Snapchat for uncensored videos. <laughs> Swipe up. Listen to her voice when she says that. You, you have a voice for that. Do that again. You got a voice for this. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Your face wait, got way too Wait, hold on, hold on. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, damn. So you might you might be on our, our nah, premium nah, site. Nah, see, the, the whole shit too, was, it was late night. You know what I'm saying? It was like real late night. Did you night. know her? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't the Mac like that. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> real Mac Daddy. You just get head from a stranger on the. Oh train. no, she just meant that you pay for it. Oh, <laughs> Pro- probably indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, haven't Somehow. we all? Haven't yeah, we all yeah, at that yeah, point? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But nah, it was late night. It was like just us on the train. You know, I would. I'm not. I'm not. I got some scruples. I'm not just going to get my dick sucked on a crowded train. That would be yeah. weird. Yeah. Oh, that would yeah. be just lawless. Oh, nigga. You people know, around. Oh. Like yo, if you. Get head on the train. You know the type of person you are. You put cigarettes out on strollers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker. You get head on a crowded yeah. train. You don't care about nothing. <laughs> nothing. All nothing. Right. Was there anyone on the train when this happened? Nah, it was just us two. Oh, okay, so that's a little different. And I didn't even. It was just like 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 a like a one stop for the thrill. It was just like you put it in your mouth. It wasn't even okay, like that's a. a- <laughs> That's like yeah, my kind of. That's yeah. my kind of like wild sex is like quickly doing it thrill. just to see yeah, happen there. Thrill. Just one of the yeah, for the, for the, for the <laughs> quick thrill. It wasn't quick one and done. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. to completion enough, and I wasn't like because you see some of these niggas, they like they gotta sit down and shit. They this taking is, their pants off. What's wrong with this? This is gonna be the second podcast I've said this on in two hours. But I went to Jamaica last week and I gave my boyfriend a blowjob underwater. Salt water. <laughs> Did- you crazy, yo. Salt water? You yes. could get sick like that, man. No, you can't. No, yeah, you can't. But it burns, though, salt water. No, it wasn't easy, but it was... No, it, it sounds was like very... Just, no, that's it was crazy. Just... It sounds very complicated. It. I mean, it I'm sounds very... weird, but does he? did he feel anything? Like, I mean, not a lot. It was just to say that I did it. It was like, well, that's what I'm that's, saying. It okay, so things. it's it's the yeah. same that's situation as Petey. It's like yeah, one yeah, of those yeah. situations where I was like, let me see if I can yeah. blow you underwater. It's very Puerto Rican of you. And then, and then he got to walk out of the water with a heart on across the beach. Mm-hmm. All little kids and shit playing. He dragged me out by my leg. <laughs> <laughs> dragged me out by my leg across the sand into the villa. Yeah. <laughs> Call that the dirty mermaid. <laughs> the, t- <laughs> the dirty by your mermaid. Feet, by your legs. <laughs> She don't got legs, so I gotta drag her. (laughs) I gotta drag her by fins. Yeah, it was not fun for either of us. Oh man, well I didn't. Not for the thrill, though. Yeah, but for the thrill, we did it. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. I get the thrill. I mean, yours is a little dirtier. I mean, this the subway is the shit that we've seen, obviously. But you know, for the thrill, it was on the one train too. Late Mm. night, one train uptown. Ooh, yeah. I wonder if I've ever sat on that spot. Probably. So like <laughs> There's a good chance. Dude. There's a good. Was it all the way back in the corner? Nah, it was right in the middle of the car. You, you know, oh kids. damn, you're just you slinging shit there'd all be, over. There'd, huh? be, there'd be old people sitting there. I didn't give a fuck. You whipped out your <laughs> bare raw dick into the fleshy air of the train. Raw diggity, man. Come on, I'm from the what? I'm from the train. I've been taking the train. Since I was like, he's, that was he's like, I've had train on my dick since I was eight. Forever, I used to pee. You know when you were a little kid, you pee in between the cars. Your moms be like, here, pee in between the cars. What? And you pee in between. They hold you so you don't go back and forth. Oh, is that what they do, really? Yeah, you pee in between the cars when you were a kid. But when you yeah, get older, a lot of people push. still do that. Really, yeah. older oh, yeah. kids? That's remember we were talking about space cases and shit. Yeah. Is it, that... I wonder how many people drop their kids in between that shit. Probably nuts, but I don't know about actual kids. Like probably just like come people. I'm pretty sure niggas be in between there looking. It's crazy. It's New York, so you don't think there's a dude beating his dick off in between the cars, oh, but yeah. he's looking at a shorty like she don't even know he's looking at her Ew, in between the cars. Yeah. He's beating his dick while she's reading her fucking book on Kindle. <laughs> this like, is oh, really oh, specific. I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm just imagining that's what crazy shit that could happen. It's just in his memory. Yeah, yeah. It's just, <laughs> just in his he had a friend. He had a friend that that happened yeah, to. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um. All right. Well, we got a we got a great show. There's a, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to our friend uh, Adam Evans, aka Verbal Ace. I've seen him everywhere. This motherfucker. Up. So let me just tell you real quick, Petey. So this dude uh, is a beatboxer and voice impressionist, and we had him on the show. Now, I'm not I'm not saying we were the responsible for it, but when he came on the show, he had seven thousand followers. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker has more followers than me now. Crazy. He is over a million. 
What is he's he over doing? a million? He's a 1.1 1. 1 as of Whoa. this morning. Whoa. Um, so this dude. So he owe you some fucking. <laughs> no, no. So what? I I don't want to knock. I don't want to take away from him because this dude. This dude hustles, man. He he is so good at what he does. What? This motherfucker's the at one point two. He was at one point one this morning. He's at one point two now. All right. Look, he's got management. That he's shit, got new headshots. Yo, this shit remind me of that scene in Blow. He's like, oh my god, where'd you get this from? <laughs> <laughs> one ten forty running. <laughs> One point two. He's got headshots now. Uh, yeah, th- yo. So, so he got he got reposted by Good Timberland. Oh, Timberland one twelve. Busta Rhymes, Justin Timberlake, Tyrese. That's crazy. Just to name a few. So when he came on the show, he was talking about his his childhood hero forever was Will Smith. Mm. Fucking Will Smith hit this dude up. No. Reposted him and started following him. No, so he he's been texting me the whole time. He's like, "This is unreal. I can't believe this is happening." And I was like, "Dude, I'm like, how hard were you when Will Smith hit you up?" <laughs> he goes, "Oh no, dude, I cried. That I cried." Crazy. He's such a genuine person, and he's so fucking nice that you know. I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that this dude is everywhere all of a sudden. Shout and like, out to him. shout out to him, man, because he's he's yeah, he such a it. he's such a good person. He's such a genuine person. Yo, you know who's my favorite comedian of all time? Richard Pryor. Will Smith. No, <laughs> stop. Yeah, because I seen the thing he did on Facebook the other day. So, like, if Will Smith, if you listen into this. <laughs> he probably boy, is. your boy. He probably Repost is. Repost me and Tyrese. Too. Wait, what did he do on Facebook? Nah, he did, like, this, uh, what is it? The Will Smith bucket list. So, stand-up was one of his things on his bucket list. No. Oh, okay. And then he did, like, a Oh, set. yeah, because he, he was with Chappelle. I saw yeah, him with yeah. Chappelle. Yeah. And that shit inspired me to really, like, dig dig deeper into comedy. Because I feel like I was fucking around for so long. You got to put a bucket list together. Me and Will Smith mm-hmm. have the same birthday. Oh, I thought you were going to say the same agent. I was like, Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> We've got Will Smith in the back. Bring him Actually, out. He's right here, Will. Oh, you was here the whole time. Yo. Uh, so uh, something cool happened on Friday with the account that has happened once before. Uh, there was, a, I don't know if you guys saw this. There was a guy carrying like an I-beam. Like a 15-foot I-beam on the train, which immediately reminded me of when the guy, remember the guy with the couch? Mm -hmm. The guy who was like moving a couch and like he was like transferring to different trains and shit. But the funny part was that people were sending me videos in real time. So, and I kept posting them. So we were following this guy's journey with his couch in real time, like across all these stations and across, uh, you know, it was at least two boroughs. So the same thing happened on Friday. This dude was carrying 15. I think we got. Did I give you guys? A, yeah, I gave you guys a video. So this is the first video. This dude, poor look guy. at this shit. What do you mean, you poor guy? That's fucking resilient, son. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Imagine if he was like somebody did me. <laughs> Oh, this makes me feel so bad. She got the Supreme bag. People are helping him, though. Yeah, you got to get something around. You got to get something around. I don't know what to tell you. Well, yeah, the sad part is that he's probably going to cash this. Yeah, I was about to say. Cash this in for like like $20. He was walking by a construction site, and he was like, ching, ching. <laughs> he grabbed it. The fuck he was like, I got Because when you smoke crack, there's no <laughs> limit to where you could go, nigga. You could pick up a Mini Cooper <laughs> and fucking sell it. So, you know, crackheads was picking up Mini Coopers when they came out. was like, yo, I can put this on my back. Smart cars. Put it and, on the train. Yeah. In, LA, they, in LA, they flip smart cars just to be those, funny. Those to go? What they, they just go? flip them. Zip card? What is those little ones? The, 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 yeah, ones? The, yeah. The, oh, the, like the, the NYPD cars, the little parking ones. Oh, shit. So, you ever been in one? They're, they're like two seaters, right? Dude, that shit's scary, dude. Really? I, I wouldn't feel safe driving in those. There's no chance. They because they took the place of those. Remember, they had the little golf carts. They used to have the mm-hmm. little NYPD golf carts. Mm-hmm. But show that's fucking crazy. Somebody yeah. sent me that. Like some, I couldn't open it because it was a, from a private account, and I'm not gonna follow somebody to see some shit. Yeah. But um, somebody was like, "Yo, did you see this shit?" And I was like, "Nah." Yeah. Look at everyone's helping them out. Everyone's it's moving for them. I would have never helped that dude. But there was also a lot of people filming, too. I'd have been like, come on, man. You fucking up my trip, son. Well, yeah. Think about how long those doors were open to get oh that God. thing in. 
You know, you're running late. But worth it to watch this happening, yeah. honestly. So so that's what happened. So people, so they kept sending videos in, and then there was at least three of them. Did people follow him home? Like, yo, we got to right? see where this goes. I started asking people. I'm like, can you can someone please follow this dude? Because we need to know how this ends. Mm-hmm. We need to know where he's going. We need to see, you know, we need some resolution to this. <laughs> but look at the angles he's trying to take, getting this, this these beams on the train, because this is when he transferred. So now he's, he's trying to get it into, uh, I believe it's the L train. This- <laughs> yo! He's taking bad angles and shit. That's fire. I love New York, man. Well, that's that's part of what makes New York so goddamn special. Baby. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he's you like, know, I could be robbing you right now, but instead, I'm just transporting. He's a just fucking being a good man. <laughs> What's yeah, that, iron. That's iron. No, man. dude, that shit would have been way too heavy. I think it's aluminum. aluminum? That's my guess. But that's still a lot. Yo, of if money, that was though. steel or iron, there's my, no way that dude. My, although you're talking about your crackhead strength. Yo, my uncle used to steal copper. Well, yeah, that, oh, I mean, yeah. a lot of people still do that. That shit's worth a lot of money. That's money. So imagine that shit. Yeah. What? That's yeah. probably like a few hundred right there, at least. Yeah. You can find an abandoned house, just go in, bam. You get a you get a decent amount of money Man, out I'd, of that, too. A few hundred, I'd steal just three of those a day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And nobody, it's but if you got to deal with that shit, though? Yeah, no, I mean, Uber at that rate, yeah, you got to start running <laughs> you cars. You got Uber rid at that point. <laughs> running a few truck. Hundred, spend 50, whatever. Get an accomplice. There you go. Uh, but it's always cool when you get to watch those things kind of in real time. People were people were like stuck stuck to this, like trying to like figure out how this was going to end. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it. Yeah, I'm sure it made the day a little you, more interesting. You know what's crazy, too? I don't even think he swiped to get in. No, no, he just, no, he so just had someone pop the door. <laughs> he just had someone pop that door. Because <laughs> you have to open the door for that guy. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. I mean, listen, if he's if he's going through this trouble, that fucking beam, he doesn't have a swipe in his pocket. No, sir. Um, Here's another thing that happened. Uh, there was a guy who wound up dropping... <laughs> Here's here's the uh, the story of two diff- completely different struggles. So this guy's doing this. Another guy uh, dropped his iPod, you know, like the the wireless ones. Mm-hmm. Dropped one of them onto the tracks. Okay. Um, again, documented the whole thing. Uh, this time only in pictures. So he was taking pictures. So that's that's his i. What is it called? An AirPod on the okay. uh, on the thing. So he apparently called MTA to come in. Uh, you know, fetch it for him because he didn't want to jump down on the tracks. And he went and did whatever it was he had to do. He came back like an hour or two later and it was still there. Mm-hmm. So now, <laughs> now this dude goes to the store. He buys, he MacGyver's this thing. He buys a Swiffer mm-hmm. and then buys duct tape and he's going to like make this contract. Like, so this is, this is oh, hilarious. another thing that he did. So, um, so he, I guess what he did was obviously he took the duct tape and made it like sticky on the sticky end and then uh, used the Swiffer to get it back. And then I think that we, do we have, I think we have the picture of him actually retrieving it. That's crazy. So, so this, this, this whole thing was three hours of this thing on. I don't know that I have the time for that. I would just buy more headphones. I would just get that's that. What I'm how much, are, get... how expensive are those? They're pretty expensive. They're kind of expensive. Yeah. Are they? Like. I would have got the eye beam dude to do it for like five dollars, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, that's that's actually a good idea. So that's what I wanted to ask you. All right, what what would it what would it take for you guys to risk it all, jumping down to the tracks? That's not risking it all. Well, you're so from here. It, he really I'm just is. saying, risking yeah. it all have you to ever me down? is like oh, and have you have you been on the murders track? people money? Like, have you jumped down there yet? Huh? Have you ever jumped down? Yeah, there? jumped down there. You have just for fun. No, <laughs> for nothing. You ever across? been on a platform with your friends and you young? Not oh, as old, Petey, because my bones ain't the best no more. But when I was young, we would just like jump down and jump back on the platform, just like fucking around. Damn. Go ahead, and this was before phones, so it wasn't about the clout. That was, <laughs> was just, just for, for us. passion. That was just for us because we had nothing to do. We used to unscrew the light bulb. Wow, they're like graffiti artists. It's just <laughs> for them. Just yeah, yeah, it's just an inside thing. Jump down. You never walk from one station to the next station. Whoa! Do the shit. You're kidding me. Yeah, you did that. I did that above ground, (sighs) like on the above ground shit on the side of the train as a kid. God damn! We used to take the light bulbs and fucking throw them from the top from the over shit because we used to like the way it sounded. It'd be like, we were like, yeah, we just bombed them. He was wild. I am all right. I'm asking this question to clearly the wrong person. (laughs) (laughs) Because for that, Petey man, you seen some shit, and I would have did it if I was there. 
I know my bones ain't the same, but I, if he would have gave Stop me like... Stop saying that. Because <laughs> I got old bones now. No, you don't. I do. My shits make noises. <laughs> my shits didn't used to make noises when I was jumping on the tracks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna list all what what would it take for Kim? What would it take for you for to jump down? If you had AirPods, would you do it? Okay, well, there's it's just a lot of what ifs. Like I'm not sure if it's even possible for me to get back up. So nothing <laughs> at that point. So you, know you know just wouldn't like, do it. I just you wouldn't. wouldn't. It. Yeah, it's just not worth it for me to even. What if you, what if it was your phone? What if your phone fell on the tracks? My phone fell. Do I have someone like standing there that can pull me back up? Yeah, yeah me and Petey are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex, Al- no. Yeah, Alex, Alex is there. fucking nah. Alex gonna, gonna fall in with me. She go fall in. I'm gonna yeah, grab yeah. her arm. She's gonna try to pull me, and I'm yeah, gonna it's suck gonna be like dumb and dumber. You're both gonna be on the fucking tracks. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a whole yo, thing. Anybody ever thought she's so skinny she could lean against the thing and the trainer will still come by <laughs> behind her. She'll be fine. So, all right. So your phone. Let's say your phone, because that's probably what you'd consider most. If valuable, someone's right? there to pull me back up, how much? How long do I have? Let's say you have. Uh, we'll give you thirty seconds. Thirty. That's seconds? a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. You gotta let that train go and then like. You know. Yeah, thirty uh, seconds. Well, all right. That. So what do we say when a train leaves? What or, is it? Two, two minutes, minutes or more? Two minutes. I'll say two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. I'll jump down, grab my phone, and Damn. get back up. Yes. Y'all you made would. me think about like when I was younger. There wasn't even nothing to tell us when the next train no. was coming. No, the lights. The we, lights are what told you there was a train coming. No. And I guess not even <laughs> if you were above yeah, above dude, ground. What the fuck? With any hoots. What about what about a Metro card? I'll no. fully purchase Metro card. No, no, no it's not worth vape it. pen. Your vape pen. Not worth it. <laughs> I don't even pay. What for about those. you? What would you do? What, Tw- I was thinking about it. I think if it was my phone, I would do it. Uh, I don't. I don't know that I would do it for pretty much anything else. Yeah, my phone is like the only thing on me. Even my wallet, I would just replace all the shit. Yeah. Well, what about if you drop fifty dollars onto the track? Nope. Nope. You're not no. doing it for fifty dollars. I'd I do it for fifty dollars. It's just not worth it f- to not be able to get back up that moment where it's coming, and I'm like, ah, uh, fifty dollars. This is it for fifty dollars? No. Well, I. So this is what I said because we've we've had similar conversations to this before, and uh, I've said I have a feeling. I don't know because I haven't done it, but the second I jump down, I'm gonna get that weak feeling in my legs. And I'm mm-hmm. not going to be able to get back up. Yes. Yo, it's I'm, like a dream when you fight yeah. someone and you punch them I'll and be like, they oh can't my God, feel I'm it. On the tracks and I'm just going to freeze. I'm yes. going to fucking freeze. Good luck, my legs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you were on the tracks. So sh- <laughs> what happened with you? Well, my legs. <laughs> no, ex- I, that, I can't feel my legs. I'm going to sound like that and I'm going to look like that. I'm telling but you. But yo, think about this. If the city's going to rally behind a motherfucker with an eye beam, they're not going to help you up, Rick. They not gonna see you and go. Well, this brother looks like he has clean past. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looks like he don't stink. He looks like he might even give me five dollars if I help him. I will probably give more. Yeah, yeah, help him out. Yeah. yeah. If you a piece of shit now, be if like, you're oh, down the there yelling him. like Trump, Trump, Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're walking on the track smashing light bulbs, yeah. I don't know yeah. that I'm gonna be in a hurry. True, but true, true. Um, <laughs> dude, true. you got to tell me about this experience about walking station platform to platform. That was just between some stations. Dumb shit as a kid. That's fucking wild. I grew up under the on the two nineteenth. I now so I was I've been taking the train before. I can't even swim. I was taking a train since I was Still? a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> when you said that, wait, wait, I could survive. What, I could survive. I could what do is that? This. What, what does swimming way? have to do with it, though? No, I've just been tra- saying, like, taking the train before. I can't even swim. Because <laughs> we're saying something. Most people be learning how to swim and shit when they little lads and shit. They little tadpoles and they be swimming and. So I always looked at it like I've been taking the train since I was probably like eight years old by myself. The only backstroke he knows is a homeless guy jacking off. Yeah, yo, that's a foul stroke. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whack stroke. But not oh, yet. So I, as a kid, I remember going to school and then you be with your friends. And that's when like I was the kids that you fucking hate when you know when you see those yeah. kids. You were throwing honey buns. I was I wasn't throwing honey. Yeah, we probably still. No, we was hungry. We wasn't these kids are spoiled now. <laughs> Niggas were eating honey buns. We like we might fight over a honey bun. Mm. Let me get a bite. Yeah. But, but wow. now nah, we would walk from just stay just doing dumb shit. Wow. It was like our fun. Like there wasn't no recreation. Well, I guess times haven't changed that much because I still to this day get a lot of videos and I don't, obviously don't use them because I don't want to promote this shit. But a lot of like kids riding on the top of trains and on the mm-hmm. side of trains and on the back of the I train. I never did that before. I know. I mean, all it takes is one one fucking beam Boink. and you're done. You're done. I, I just don't le- get it. Lean back too far. Yeah, exactly. I just don't get it. Like. 
what what's the win there? Like, what do you? I the don't know. The adrenaline of fucking doing it. Yeah. And, and then maybe well, I guess one day you get on subway creatures and you be like, "Yo, I haven't told you about the top." <laughs> what's <laughs> that video you. game when the, the kids running on the fucking the train? The temple shit? Run? No, the other oh. one. No, it's temple. called like Subway Run or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's getting high, like yo, yeah. let's do that, son. Yeah, minus well, the coins. They get they get mad when I don't when I don't repost it because it's like. They risked it all for, for the you. for the gram, and now I'm not doing anything. And they get they get fucking mad. They like tell me off and shit. I'm like, I don't care. You can say whatever you want. I I'm not posting the video. I'm, I'm not, not going to promote accessory. this. Yeah, because you know I'll post that, and then everyone will be like, oh, that's my way of getting on the fucking Instagram. Mm-hmm. And just get ahead, man. On the train, you get on here. Yeah, you wind up on the bonus. Snapchat. Yeah, right. <laughs> on the premium snap. <laughs> Uh, For more quality head videos. <laughs> yeah. I'm you ever thought you. about what you would do? Like, so I've even thought about like if a train was coming or if somebody pushed me on it. You ever thought like somebody pushed you on the track? What you would do? Yeah. What's your first? Yeah. And I would like lay in between the little in the little little space. Yeah. In like on the, in between on the, the ground, tracks, right? Like in between the tracks. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like that little. Usually, dip. there's water running in there. Yeah, and shit. I would be right up under there like that. Like. <laughs> well. <laughs> like, <laughs> We had someone come in and tell us what you should do. Fire yeah. me. Last that's week. That's not it. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's actually what he said not to do. Oh, man. <laughs> he said that's what everybody's instinct is to do, and that's what not. He says uh, if the if you have like a, a little bit before the train comes, run towards the where it's heading as far up as you can yeah. and tell someone to let the train know. So you nah, just run ahead I ain't of doing it. that. It sounds scary. I, apparently, a lot of people think that if, if they, no go, one hears if they you? go like under the platform, that mm-hmm. that's a safe spot. But apparently, that's he worked not. for the MTA. He worked for Con Ed, which does the electric work in the uh, in the subway. They don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, this dude jumped down on the tracks and saved someone. Come he, on, like, man. Pulled anybody anybody could have did that. <laughs> Not you with your fucking yeah. brittle, brittle ass bones. <laughs> yeah, your old ass bones. <laughs> Cracky ass bones. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, you know what's funny too is that I feel like now with all these like kind of uh, culture shock uh, shit that we're like, oh my god, this is crazy! Like it's just it's just gonna be like another day for him. Yeah. So like this next video, I was like, there's this woman, right? So she lives in Chinatown. She was going to the bathroom, and she lifted up the the seat, and there's a fucking rat chilling in her toilets toilet bowl. Disgusting. In Chinatown. Yes. Check this out. <gasps> oh my god crazy he was thirsty flush that shit so i asked her i was like so what what was your move like what what'd you do next she goes i like left the bathroom and i came back a minute or two later and it had gone back down the, down the drain she goes and there was another time that it came back up the drain mm. i go well y'all I, there's no chance i'm ever sitting on that toilet ever. oh you know this person no but i'm just saying like oh, if it was oh, me oh, oh. how can you ever use that toilet like knowing that there's the potential of a rat coming, a rat up, coming up the pipe. Yeah, I mean, what do you? I've you seen just that with move, snakes right? before too, which is even uh, worse. In Florida, than a rat. yeah. Oh fuck! That's I don't know worse. which is worse. A snake, definitely. snake or a I don't snake. know, man. A rat? I mean, a rat's just gonna touch you. I don't think a rat instantly bites. You know what I'm saying? No, no rats be wild. A corner, a cornered rat will fucking rats be wild. Yo, especially if he's nuts hanging up there. Yeah, rats gonna take a little nip, nip. <laughs> You go nibble, nigga. Oh wow, circumcision. <laughs> go some, some people pay for that shit. Mm-hmm. Richard um, Gere, remember? Mm. He was putting her hamsters in his ass. No, you don't remember that? Richard no. Gere was put. Was it Richard Gere? He was putting hamsters. Yeah, in he his was ass? putting hamsters in his ass. Whole, son. whole. No. Yeah, just for the thrill. Some people with <laughs> different thrills, man. People, you know, everybody got different rocks to get off. I like that nibble, nibble. They put that in inside of there, so you know the nigga, the type of rotation the hamster. Oh man. yeah, it's all yeah. the hamster like? wheel. I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wait, guessing did he hamster. stick whole hamsters in his asshole? I need he an put, answer. Yeah, he put my back. No, I did hear. I heard he put, something like you know those like when you finish like a, a paper towel roll. Yeah, yeah. Like you put that and let it climb through it. No, and then you. Block the end off. That's fucked. Can't go anywhere. Freak a Did he right do there. that for real? I don't know if it was Richard Gere. I, uh, it was Richard Gere. Can we can we get some? Wait, uh, but then what did the checking? hamster do? He just was thankful. <laughs> it's, it started burrowing. He was like, "Yo, this is way better than the food they be feeding me in the cage." Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> gross. Richard Gere was taken to a hospital emergency room to have a gerbil a removed gerbil. from his rectum. A gerbil, my bad. False. Oh my god, false. Oh, what do you mean false? Nah, man, this is fake news. Is that for that? 
So this is all a myth. It's Thank all a mess. God. This is false. It's fake news. Damn, I really wanted that to be real, though. Well, yeah. whatever. It was still awful. Oh, my God. There's people that probably do that, though. Oh, there has to be. Mm-hmm. There has to be. Um, there's no way, because that shit, w- rumors come from real shit. Yeah. So even if that was a rumor. But you know what happened? Richard Gere probably paid this website. Yeah. yeah. To put false. That's what yeah. I would do. If somebody put a shit out there, <laughs> yeah. whoever's on that website, I'm like, yo, how much money to make it false? And then they'll be like, all right. That's a, good, that's a great idea. 100,000? 100, 100, I got you. Just make it false. <laughs> oh, my God. All but right. yo, so the rat was in the fucking toilet. Yeah. So I I don't know. I'm moving at that point because I don't. What else do you do? You're moving? What I mean, I'm not moving. It doesn't bother me that much, to be honest. It doesn't bother you that at you any know, point while you're sitting there, a rat can come. I don't up the sit there point. for that long. I uh, see, I'm a guy. It, I do. No, yeah. that's not an excuse. You There's no tender? reason to have to sit oh. on the toilet for more <laughs> than fucking... fucking four minutes. No, 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 no. There no, should wow. never be a reason. Welcome to, sit to on the, the guys' toilet. world. Yeah, we. we I look forward time. to that. Yeah, shit. Three. Put in time. I clear out my schedule for the day. No, it's fucking disgusting me that you guys just sit with your assholes open in the toilet. Hell yeah, and I spread that shit too. I be spreading that shit. You know when you let, you know when you initially sit down and you make sure you sit down like further on one side so you can spread your cheek and let it clamp on the other side, nigga. Yeah, you hold it up. <laughs> Giving away all people secrets be on, on them, episode one. People be like, squatty potty. I'm like, nigga, just spread your cheeks and eat bad food. <laughs> so what's wrong with you? You need spread to your put your legs in a food. good fucking position to shit. Nigga, just fucking drink whiskey. Oh, my god, like Squatty potty. Drink whiskey. <laughs> oh Having bad god. shits is the worst thing to come possibly oh, ever happen. Oh, I love that shit. No. No, nah, I don't love it. When but it's it bad, feels though, like when good. your stomach hurts, like you're dying. Not the runs, but like when you got to take a shit and it come out like a fucking no, shit grenade. that's the best. That shit is like, oh. It's so crazy how it could be two different feelings. <laughs> well, you know what? I think for guys, so supposedly like the prostate's right there, too. So I don't know. So it makes us come a little bit. Right. <laughs> you right. guys are always thinking about sex. Even when you shit. It's anatomy, yo. It's it's not my fault. It's Grey's anatomy. Ew, so is that why you guys are on the toilet so long? It, you get off to pooping? No. I mean, sometimes uh. I rub my dick on the toilet, too. I ain't even gonna <laughs> lie, nigga, because the toilet paper's right there and the shower's right there. I mean... It's cool. I don't, I don't know that I go that far, I but I, like I definitely... Curls. This you never is rubbed like... your shit out on the, on the toilet? No, Holes I Holes mean... hanging? Balls yeah. hanging in the bowl? No, I mean... Well, I guess that goes off of what you were saying with the rat. The rat kind of playing. Oh, yeah. Playing You're going to get rat nibbled because your balls are all fucking swinging nah, from your jacket off on a, the toilet. I'm going to come right there in the fucking bowl. He, in he, his he, eye? You ever, ah! you ever see a rat on the train? You ever see a rat on the train on the down the tracks mm-hmm. and you spit and they go over it, go over to it and they like ingest some of the fucking oh, yeah. spit? They, they'll eat anything. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. imagine once you come for them and then they- Well, they'll eat your cum. They'll eat fucking. the cum. And then they'll be like, like Yo. Cameron Diaz and Vanilla Ice, mm-hmm. Vanilla Sky. Was it called <laughs> Vanilla Sky? Uh, that happened. Was it Vanilla? She said she would eat Tom Cruise's cum. Oh, I didn't even fucking see. Who that wouldn't? Even know. That's what I'm saying. It's Scientology. Tom Cruise, man. La, 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 la. Well, from from rat cum, <laughs> right into our great interview with Thomas Knox, <laughs> a connection curator. Uh, actually, I, I think this will be. I, uh, an interesting uh, interview. Let's jump right into this. This is Thomas Knox, a.k.a. The Connection Curator. All right, thanks for coming by, Thomas Knox, a.k.a. The Connection Curator. Thank you, man. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. Uh, let's get started by just filling people in on who you are and what it is you're doing. Like, Why are you here? I am here because I created, I, I think it's a really dope uh, connection movement in the subway here in New York called Date While You Ate. And what DYU8 is, it's a quick and easy uh, moment for people to have a conversation and enjoy a game on their way home while they're commuting, on their way to work. Like, I, I think there's there's opportunity to have great conversation. And uh, that's why I came up with the DYU8. Well, obviously, <laughs> uh, the first question I got is, how did this all come about? Yeah, so it's it's kind of a crazy story. I, uh, I was supposed to go out to dinner with one of my friends, and she canceled on me last minute. She called me. She was like, hey, I can't go out tonight. And I'm like, hey, what happened? And she's like, when I was on the subway, first car I got into, there was a homeless person in there sleeping. It just like smelled really bad. So then I got off the next stop, waited for the next train, got on that train, and there were people performing. And she was like, it just, I, I'm just over it. Like, I, I don't feel like it anymore. Like, I'm, I'm done. So I was like, in that moment, it clicked to me. Like, well, I don't, I don't ever see anybody doing anything positive in the subway 
I know you know me. See, I don't want to say it's very rare. Yeah, yeah it's and very I do rare. positive things, but uh, you don't see positivity happen in the subway. So I was like, you know what? What if so I create something? Like getting a blowjob. <laughs> I don't know this guy. Um, but yeah, it just end up being so <laughs> end up being something that uh, I thought about um, and I shared with her, and she was like, "You're crazy. Don't do it. People are gonna think you're out of your mind." So I just let it go. I was like, "No biggie." Um, and then about three days or four days later, I shared it with my best friends, and they were like, "Yo, you're the perfect personality for it." Like. Let's do it. And kind of the perfect name too. Date while you wait. Yeah. And it's right on the platform while you're waiting for the trains. And I guess depending on time of day, that can be a long time <laughs> sometimes. Um, is there a specific area that you like really is effective compared to others? So not really. I think the the thing I've learned throughout the process is it's more so time of day, not so much area. Uh, because like I'll do date while you wait at West 4th Street and because the platforms is so there's way more space it works out really really well but if i do it at like broadway lafayette it's a it's a hell no it don't matter what time of day right the subway platform is just a little too tight um so i would say it depends on time of day more than anything and understanding that i have to be respectful to people commuting uh during rush hour and things like that you know that i was going to ask you about that too because we've all been on the platform during rush hour and sometimes depending on which one it is it can get really packed and last thing i think anyone wants to see (laughs) is someone posted up with a table with board games, yeah. trying to attract more people to crowd that platform. So have you gotten any negative reactions from people because I, of that? I have, yeah. I've, I've been cursed out a couple of times. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Cops have definitely asked me to leave. Yo, get your Connect Four out of here, yo. Get the fuck out of here, son. Yeah, yeah it's yo. definitely. They use that exact same accent. <laughs> I think it might have been P- you. Petey might have. I was just going to say, Petey might have been there. Yeah. Get this fucking trouble shit out of here, son. <laughs> trouble. It starts popping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People, like, people are not every New Yorker is down for it as as you know it's you know some of the videos and things that you guys have done yo you smoke weed son i don't oh because that's a high because when you say you was talking to your friends i picture yeah. all y'all smoking like, nah. like yo i'm gonna just connect motherfuckers <laughs> you feel me we gonna put the little trouble and the connect candy land and all of that and they gonna fall in love you know? what i will say is i don't smoke weed but my friends do okay so they was like yo that's brilliant that's what i would have said that shit. <laughs> i mean it, it does it does it does it so it's not necessarily romantic then. Exactly. It's so it's just so kind of like making making friends. I I actually I blame myself a little bit on this because when I started it, the first day I went out to connect with people, I bought a bouquet of flowers and I was handing flowers out to everybody and it just made it seem romantic, but that really wasn't it looked the like idea. You was up to I know. If my yeah. boyfriend popped through West Fourth and I was sitting at date while you wait, mm. <laughs> oh, there'd be a big Puerto oh, Rican man. fight on the beach. I've, I've Two had, Puerto Ricans oh, on shit. the platform. <laughs> Someone's gonna end up on the tracks. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So Someone's I've touching had the third rail. Boyfriends and girlfriends like have like conversations about if it's okay for her to sit down like right next to me. Like, do you mind if I just play one game? And he's like. Nah, like I'm not really feeling nah, it. I ain't feeling this. <laughs> really? Yeah. Out here, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I this guess I'm getting not, juicy. Yeah. I know, I know. I yeah. guess I'm not too surprised by that. Yeah. But there's also I get it. there's also a kid. I don't know if you've heard of this kid. I think he's maybe 10 or 11 years old. I've actually I've tried to find him to get him on the show because what he does is something similar to yours. The only difference is he does therapy. Yeah, he's my homie. So you know him? Yeah, his name's Chiro. Racket, son. Chiro. Yeah. Okay. So you got to connect us because I want him to come in. I want him to come in and psychoanalyze all of us (laughs) because apparently he does the same thing. He sets up a table and he has therapy sessions. This little kid has therapy sessions on the uh, platform. Is, yeah. is that- Sub- Subway advice kid is 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 uh, fine. I remember that, and I remember me and my boyfriend had a discussion, and we kind of like. He was like, he made up a good point. He was like, it's kind of, it would make me nervous as a parent having all these strangers spill like their issues onto a child. Because you know, some people don't have a filter. They're like, then he fucked this other girl in the ass, right? <laughs> he he like, gives out the, the most basic advice. Like, it's just so simple that you can just do. And, <laughs> yeah, but sometimes people, that's what gets people. And they they're pay like, for is it. it really that easy? Yeah. That's what you need. And he's a dope kid. His, uh, he actually... Or I think his parents did like a, a TED talk about it. Oh, <laughs> Stop! Wow. I saw it. They did like a, it was like right, a TEDx that far. about connect like uh, having those types of. Hopefully, if I can get him on, I'll, I'll have to ask him about that because I don't know. I don't know how you have a whole TED talk about that, but I'll, I'll, I'll I'm sure there's an angle. Yeah, you definitely need to. Um, oh, here he is. Okay, I'm here fine. you go. This is your boy right here. This is Chiro. He looks like yeah. he's, he's hurt a lot. <laughs> he looks like James a little bit. I don't know. He like yo, my girl ain't letting me smash as much as I want to. So what should I do, little nigga? <laughs> 
She's like, listen, man, just keep your head up, Paul. It's going to be all right. Oh, just thanks. keep your head up. Thanks, man. Appreciate what, that. What man. a lot of people don't know is his, his parents, like his dad is usually like kicking it with him the whole time he's there. Oh, really? His dad is just like standing right behind, just waiting for somebody to do something. Oh, yeah. You know, he's, he's got, got the, the earpiece earpiece in. Piece in. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, yeah. tell him to get His dad's lost. Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, oh, I want to get sick. Let's get back to you, though. Um, ha- so, obviously, this is more for, you know, just a, a friendship thing, but has anything come of this? Has there been any any kind of like, yo, what's mm-hmm. up? So, so no. Uh, I've been very strategic with, like, how I connect with people. So, I'll have women sit down with me, and as a matter of fact, I've, I've had guys sit down with me and try to talk to me as well, which has been interesting. Um, but in, in both senses, I always say, hey, you know, if you, if you want to connect, reach out to me, like, on Instagram, on Facebook, like, this is not the place to do it. And I would say, like, 90% of the time, I never hear from them again. So I yeah. think because they're in the moment right then and there, they're right. super interested in it. But when they go home, they're like, you know, I worked all day. I ain't got time for this shit. Like, I got a chance to connect. Yeah, and I mean, we've, like, got, we've got some pictures. If you guys just want to roll some of those pictures while he's talking, just because I noticed on your account, they're, they're, maybe this is just coincidence or not, but it did seem like there was more guys than girls that yeah. you that you actually sit down with. And I don't know, do you think that there's a, a reason for that? I think that a lot of women, they think it's a dating thing. And most of the guys like I sit out with, or something? Yeah, most of the guys I sit with, the first question I get is, uh, can I play the game? Like, I'm not gay, man. Like, is it cool? Can I play the game? I'm like, You ain't cool, got to man. be like, gay to play right? Chinese yeah, check right? like, no matter, bro. Let's, let's, just, let's just enjoy the game, man. Like, it's cool. Uh, and I, I try to make it clear that anybody's welcome. Like, I don't care who you are. You're all welcome. Uh, if my dude, like, boyfriend yo, yo, yo. walked by yo. and I was sitting... At a date while you wait, rock with the flowers, yeah. sitting at that table with that playing rock and bop or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, that's a dope, that's a dope game though. Hey, we, like, we, I try to switch it up. Like we play Operation, we do. Perfection. Yeah, I bet you do. Like, Doctor, yo, Paul, yo, Paul. <laughs> she like your Paul, your Paul. She's in on it. She's in on it, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, my man, no funny shit. Like ain't no funny shit involved, man. But I, I kind of like playing Operation, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't the only one, bro. Niggas be like, what's well, up? That's not me. I'm just saying the dude be like, yo, it's for real, son. Not no gay shit or nothing, B. But I love this game, bro. And I just like to stare in people's eyes while I play it with them. The, so. good, the good news is there's no eye staring. You have to look down at the board. <laughs> oh, uh, is that? You got some. So so there's some rules. Some rules? No, I'm saying with operation, it's you got to look down oh, to move it. You don't look. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you had some table rules. I, I do have some table rules. Has though. anyone tried to kiss you? I have not. I have not. I'm actually, I think someone has kissed me before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been kissed. Yes. Yeah, your boy over here is throwing you. My photographer, like, like, real I got the picture. Shout out, shout out to Brega, man. Brega's always holding me down. Shout out to him. Most of the photos you see, he took. Wow. So uh, yeah, he, fire. shout out to him for that. But this is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, people, I've, I've been kissed. I've been hugged. It's been, it's been unique. People, someone bought me a pizza. So nice. I had a whole pizza. That's, that's nice though. That's <laughs> nice right there. Let me ask you this: What growing up, or are there specific games that you use? Uh, yeah, so Connect Four is like the most popular okay. uh, because it's just a quick, easy game. You 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 can play before your train comes. Um, but I use uh, Operation. I use Perfection. Guess Who's a really big one people really enjoy. I like yeah, Guess, guess who, who, the most racist game ever is Guess Who. Isn't it's not it? anymore. They chased you. I thought it was too, but they've updated it. Why? Wait, why was it racist? <laughs> there was one black person in the whole fucking thing. Yeah, he was always I, guilty. <laughs> he was always the person it was. So it I, wasn't I, even about being guilty. He was still guilty in the game somehow. I felt the same way, and then no, I found there's another version. I, I grew up playing that game. I love that game, and I didn't even realize because it's like a light, light skin black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like gumble. And, it was very gumbleish. <laughs> Like, like, you couldn't really tell if it was an afro or if it was just really short hair. Yeah. Um, it was very. See if you guys can find a picture of the one black person <laughs> on the old Guess Who. He was like the person on Facebook that's like, I got pulled over today and the police were fine. Yeah. Guess who? You took it like back. That. Son. Guess who used to be fire with the little flip flip? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it yeah, still is. Was, People love it, man. But, but if you had the one black person, you were fucked. Because yeah. the first question is your person black? Yeah, yes. La. Game over. La, it's one okay. turn. Lie. I tell people that's one of my rules. There's, there's, there's no rules. You, when we play Connect Four, we can play Connect Five. If you want? We'll play Connect Seven. Cool. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> so like, okay. So I didn't even know they updated that shit. So now it's, no, they don't. That's what no, I'm saying. I don't care. Update. That was my rule. Like no, I don't no, care. no. The Guess Who? You're saying they updated there, that? There though. is a version of Guess Who that's out that that's a little more diverse. Cause I, gotcha. I, I felt the same way. It was at a point where I was like, Yo, I'm gonna make my own board game, and it's gonna be similar to Guess Who. Yeah. Yeah. I did some research, and I actually found a Guess Who. You know what we're gonna have to? We're gonna have to get we're, we're gonna have to get one of us to come down there, and we'll do like a board game Olympics kind of thing. Let's do it because. 
I grew up on board games. What what were some of your? Oh my gosh, what, what, was some your, what was your shit? What was your shit? Yeah, I would definitely say Monopoly is one. Yeah. To get a Monopoly me. game going down there would be so fun. Well, it's like just a it's real just too long. One. Uh, one, yeah. There's one day I don't know if you saw, but there's actually one day I did a puzzle. It took me seven hours, and it was like how many pieces? Five hundred pieces. Damn. And it was like that's that's a little forty people that helped. Oh, like people were literally were stopping. Well, let me let me tell oh, you. Fun. Let me yeah. tell you one thing. So I'm I'm a big puzzle guy, yep. and like I, I'll have them set up every once in a while in my apartment. And no matter what people say, whether they're joking with me or fucking with me or whatever, yeah. At some point or another, you'll find them over at that table trying to put that puzzle together. At least chipping in and <laughs> doing a section or some shit. Yep. There's something about puzzles, man. It doesn't. I used to just leave one in my living room, and people really enjoy. That's what I mean. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. uh, yeah. Growing up, I had you know. Have you ever heard of like crocodile dentist? Where oh you yeah, push the teeth yeah. down. That was a that was a good one. Battleship was that was that was. Yo, y'all had good up. ass childhoods, man. For real. The only time I ever seen board games was like you know niggas in school and they got the little son. Or like I remember one time they made me go to a shrink when I was a kid and I went to a shrink and he had all of the fly toys. Had but trouble. It, it wasn't nobody like you to play him with. Though. That's the foul shit. So if it was like you was there, I'm making up for all that lost time, man. You more than welcome to come Thank down you, and kick man. it with me. You don't even know that's what you're doing for people too. It's like sometimes people want to play, but there's nobody point, to yeah. play with. So I, that's I, a good point. I, I never looked at it that way. That people feel never looked at yeah. it that way until uh, Tracy Morgan told me that. Tracy Morgan. Oh my! Uh, I, so I was going to ask you about celebrities. If any celebrities have swung by while you're down there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've obviously. Wait, wait, what Tracy Morgan? Yeah, exactly. Hold on. Yeah, so so uh, I guess a long story short, I was I got invited to France to talk about Date Why You Eight. Uh, at a conference, so I ended up flying to France. Yeah, it was like, yeah, um, yeah, on my, it's going man, international you know with this shit. It's, it's, it's all about connecting people, man. You do what you love, you know what I mean? Uh, so on my way back from France, Tracy Morgan was on my flight, and I got a chance to chop it up with him for a, about a good five, that's a, six hours. I mean, hours. that's a long flight. Five, six hours, me and yeah. Tracy Morgan t- chopping it up. And uh, I was t- I was sharing him with, sharing with him some of the work that I do, and he was like, "Yo, you're like a you're like a, he's like you're like a subway therapist, yo." He's like, "I, I could have yeah. used you back in the day." Like, yeah. he's like, you know, after my accident, I could have used you. Like, I'm I'm like a subway therapist. So, um, that's, yeah, I man. Mean, that's a good point. I, it, I think I saw something. Did you have uh uh you had someone else too? Well, people actually sat with me. Donna Rollins sat with me. Donna uh, Rollins. Yeah, he sat with me. Okay. He, he uh. He was uh, just passing through. Well, I was. I'm, I'm working on a project with one of my buddies, and he ended up literally passing through, kicking it with me. So that was right. dope. That's awesome. Um, he gave me some good advice uh, about just building out something and sticking to it. Um, so I appreciate it, appreciate him for that. And a first person I ever met, which a lot of people don't know, is uh, Zoe Kravitz. She, she was the first person that her and her friend her friend sat with me. She didn't because she was like, "You're taking photos. I'm not with it." Um, but. I didn't even know it was her. After she left, my, my team was like, hey, that was Zoe Kravitz. I was like, okay, cool. Well, because you're also probably not expecting to see Zoe Kravitz just standing there on no, the I subway did. platform. Simon I mean. Sinek sat with me as well. So I got to kick it with Simon Sinek, which is dope. Damn. Uh, he posted it on Instagram and then tagged me in it. And a couple of days later, I'm like, did, who's this guy? This is Simon. I, I knew it when I sat with him. He's like, do you sit with celebrities? And I'm like, nah, like right to his face. I'm like, nah, I don't sit with him. Like, I don't know. That's fine. And he ends up kicking it with me. Um, or it, yeah. makes, it makes these people like real, you know? It makes you realize that these celebrities are taking the subway just like everyone else. And Regular they just people. stumble across, yeah. you know, something mm-hmm. like this, which is really cool. Um, God damn it. That's, that's, <laughs> Thanks, man. you must be doing, how long have you been doing this? I started uh, June of 2015. So I'm going on four years. Crazy. You ever think like maybe like, you know how they got personal chefs and all of that? Like yeah. maybe you'd be like the personal game. Like mm-hmm. you play Personal a game, with, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yo, I'm rich now and I'm in this mansion and I'm like, yo, I want to play a game, but there's nobody to play it with. And I call you, but now you got a franchise. You got mad niggas just sending them out <laughs> to play games with niggas. And they, that should be fire. I, w- I would love to make it happen. That, that shit would be fire. The, the challenge that I have more than anything is just the team. I think a lot of people are not comfortable mm. with talking to anybody because I sit with homeless people. I sit with people who don't speak English. Like, I don't care who you are, you matter. Right, and, right, and, and that's course, just something yeah. that really means the world right. to me. And I think that's been my biggest challenge in kind of creating it in, in a way where I can monetize it. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I've done it. I, we had a day while you wait day where we had it done in 14 cities at once. That's and some good. of the cities like kind of staged it. <laughs> like it wasn't really a day while you wait. Mm-hmm. They just had their friend come sit with them. Or it, it wasn't like I, I wanted to it be something. the essence. Yeah, I want it to be something where, you know, if you're comfortable with sitting down, you sit down. If you're not comfortable, go have a great day. Like it's not for everybody. And I'm, I'm totally yeah. fine with that. Well, is there any way you're thinking of like expanding this or evolving this into something bigger? Yeah. So currently, I'm I'm working on or I've just added a DYUA loyalty program. 
Because okay. I because I see a lot of the same people. It's like a hole punch mm. card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know if you saw it on the ground. I got it on the ground. I, I didn't, but uh, yeah, that's a great idea. So I have a punch card, and I'm working with brands to give gift bags. So after five dates, you get a, you get a cool gift bag from me with a bunch of cool shit. In it. And you're, what, you're working with sponsors? Yeah, I got a bunch of like a bunch of that's brands really that I've worked cool. with. Uh, that like things I wear. Like I, I have a bracelet on by a young a young lady from uh, this organization called Because I Care, and she 11 year old girl out in Sacramento who just gave bracelets to people to pay it for it. So anytime you see someone do a positive deed, you give them the bracelet. Right. Uh, so I reached out. She sent me some bracelets. Uh, my necklace, Kind Cult. Uh, it's a cult focused on uh, giving kindness and being being kind. They've given me some uh, some uh, necklaces to give out. So I have a bunch of different brands giving me stuff to That's share with people. That's really cool. Yeah, and I'm sure every business and brand, is it's a no-brainer for them because yeah. of, of what the positivity that you're bringing to the table with this. You know, it, it really... There, of course, I'm gonna be involved with that. You know, that's that's a no brainer. Um, that's amazing. Did you, did you have anything else you wanted to add? Because I definitely want to give you a chance as well to plug anything that you have going on it. coming up. I know you have another business also. I yeah. mean, you're not you're not doing this full time, correct? I'm not. I, I have two two businesses that I really focus on. Date while you wait is one, and then I have a bow tie business. Uh, be great bow ties. And it's a bow tie company focused on being unique in style. And what we do is all our bow ties are made out of Scrabble, the board game. So I use Scrabble pieces to make bow ties. I Different colors, different uh, designs. Uh, we actually just put out a bow tie that was worn at the Grammys. One of my buddies wore it at the Grammys. That's uh, that, was, that said woke in the middle of the piece was a fist. Um, and the, the Scrabble's like they don't give you shit. I, I reached out and I... And I they didn't get back to me, so I guess I'm good. Um, no, don't wait till you're huge and, and then, then it'll come knocking. Also, too, I'm not taking away from what the essence of what Scrabble. Like, I, I didn't create another Scrabble game. And I'm using Scrabble pieces. I'm, if anything, uh, when people see my bow ties, they're like, yo, this reminds me of when I play Scrabble with my friends and family. It's good so, Scrabble marketing. Yeah. So yeah they, you they should show buying, me buying, like, new Scrabble boards every time, or do you just, like, get in on games and pocket mad pieces? <laughs> yeah, so when, when I first started, I was actually buying, like, replacement pieces. He goes pieces. to a lot of hipster bars. Yeah. <laughs> I literally was buying replacement pieces. Now I have a distributor. I have a distributor oh, who distributes yo. my, oh, my uh, yeah, bow ties. Um, and I also, uh, yeah, in addition to that, right there. Yeah, our, our frames, oh, cool. all our frames are done by 3D printers. So we get our frames 3D printed. They're all done out in uh, Brooklyn. 3D Brooklyn is, That's is, really is cool. the company I work with. And those guys are dope. And yeah, 3D printed frames oh, yeah. and Scrabble oh, pieces. Yeah. That shit. So you could, are they interchangeable? or Not yet. Like you, Not yet. There's some, something I'm working on. But I didn't mean to put that out there. I, it's I it's know cool. You, you if somebody reaches out, we'll talk about it. We'll, mm-hmm. talk, we'll make it happen. Yeah, well, hopefully someone, <laughs> someone right now is hearing this and they're like, oh, shit. So where can we find you then? Uh, Instagram is is kind of the, the best place. So for for date why you wait, I've switched over from making it date why you wait to the connection curator. And the reason I did that is because I have other things I'm doing under that umbrella. Um, we have a bunch of events that we're going to be doing. So we do like game nights. Um, I have a dinner series I'm working on. So uh, uh, I'm not going to get deeply into it, but it it fuses di- uh, food with music in a very unique way. Um, and I'm all about relatable content so creating content where everybody in the space can kind of be related to it um and that's why i feel like day why you eat really really works um but instagram is going to be the best place and facebook um under the connection curator for instagram okay facebook still date why you wait tried to change it they won't they won't let me rock so uh, date why you wait oh. still facebook's the worst still works um and then with the bow tie stuff everything's under be great bow ties instagram facebook um and yeah anybody reaches out to me i, I will 100 percent get back um, there you go yeah, Heck yeah. All right, well, Thomas Knox, thank you so much for coming by. I really you. appreciate you uh, taking some time out of your day to uh, really talk about this. I appreciate this it, man. Definitely thank you cool guys. and interesting. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to run into you <laughs> next time I see you setting up. I'm I'm heading down there for some Connect Four. Oh, yeah, I might me even too. bring my bro, I might sitting. even bring my own game. You, is that is that okay? Abs- the, the, the only rule there's only one rule. You got to tell me your name. So people who refuse to tell me the name. They'll they'll be like, I don't feel like it. And I'm like, cool, great to meet you. I don't feel like it. You know, like I, you have to tell me that that's that's just a sign of respect for me. So of course, I've I've literally had had people get up and be like, I'm not gonna play with you because you refuse to give me a name, like make up a name. I just yeah, feel like yeah, it's a sign just of respect. Make one up. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's oh, New York, that's, that's baby. It. You know what I'm saying? Eight million stories, man. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so I'm saying. Uh, damn. Like, nah, I don't add. What you mean? What's my government, son? I just want to play Connect Four, man. Uh, I don't work like that. <laughs> Come on, Paul. They, they can create one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. They could have just been like, Yo, my name's Jim. <laughs> yeah that's that simple all right thomas well thank you so much uh you can catch him at the connection curator on instagram 
Uh, thank you again. And uh, we got some more show coming up after this. And welcome back. We are going to jump right into, uh, Kim, your new segment, which I really like. But uh, first, uh, Thomas Knox. I think uh, I think he's on to something. Oh, yeah. I just think he needs to probably stay away from the the date while you wait as long as he's going to have children playing <laughs> board games in the subway. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. But he does sound to be, sounds like he's on to something. Yeah, he was amazing. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, so... This is a segment I could feel like I'm going to really start to like. I think it went really well last week. So let's get right into what pissed off who. Okay. And what do you have for us this week? Okay, so this week we're going to talk about the USC college scandal. Everyone's all up in arms about that. Did you guys hear about that yet? How can you not have heard about that? Petey, did Petey. you hear? I didn't hear about it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't do you know, know Aunt it. Becky from Full House. Oh yeah, I was about to say that. I know the Aunt Becky, but yeah. So do I you heard know what happened? It was like a ring or something with rich people. Yeah, it was just, these rich actresses uh, were basically paying their way for their children to get accepted into USC, the college, and it came out that they were buying spots for their children. Was it just school. USC? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's this is uh, colleges all around the nation. And people are super upset. It's a whole thing. Um, what's her name? Lori Laughlin. Lo- Lori Laughlin. No. Aunt, Be- Aunt Becky. She got. She right. got uh, kicked. To- she Hallmark. Hallmark, Hallmark stopped working with her. She got no. cut off her show. She's done with Fuller House. They're like taking everything away, yeah. and people are pissed. And my whole thing is like, who the fuck cares? Word. Yeah. Who the fuck cares? I think um, Dave Smith. He has a podcast on the Gas Digital Network. He has a couple. Um, he tweeted about it and he said the best. He was like, college is the scam. It's all a scam. He's like, it's a scam within a scam. So it's like, why does it fucking even matter? Right. I mean, it, it wasn't necessarily the greatest look that her daughter was like, I don't even fucking want to go be at this school. Like, I don't go to class. But again, who what cares? fucking college kid really does? You yeah. Know? And who cares? Still, right. who cares? Right. If these people gave a bunch of money to the school that the school used to be a better school and they gave one girl a fucking spot that she doesn't even fill in, who cares? It's not really taking away a spot from someone else. It's not. It's you just not. You're telling up? me the college is not going to accept a student because they're too full. It's right. not happening. Right. I'm sorry. Somebody ratted, though. You know that's what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you know when they found out she was on a yacht? <clears throat> she was on the USC's yacht, the like admissions board's yacht. Yeah, she should be. <laughs> Just fucking partying. Yo, if I'm rich, man, you think I'm fucking, my kids gotta be smart? That's what I'm saying. You it's survival of the fittest. Yeah. Right. I'll fucking pay for my kid to go to rocket school, son. Bro, right. I don't give a fuck. I'll Billy Madison, my fucking 30 year old son, if he wants to be in second grade again. I'll pay my way for my boy to be in second grade again. <laughs> what do you want me. me to tell you? It's my money. It's also like, if you don't go to the college, it shouldn't matter. If you're not attending the school, you shouldn't give a fuck. If you don't have children attending the school, you shouldn't give a fuck. These people are rich. Also, just like, go then, attend the school if you want to attend yeah. the school. Why does it matter to you how someone else got in? Yeah. Are and you in you the hating, school? And you know that's poor people hating. That's poor. Step that's your some, fucking game up, son. That's some son. fucking poor mentality. <laughs> fucking <laughs> life is a money. game of Monopoly. You got to cheat sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if anything, isn't that the one thing we all learned in school was how to cheat? Yes. Like if there was one takeaway that I think we all collectively learned, it's how to cheat. Yes. Or how to get by it's on the minimum. Of, it's by part the minimum. of business, dude. I don't right. know what to tell you. Everything's not straightforward. Yeah. In anything that you do. Not, not everyone's, any company that, that exists in the world, not everyone's being honest in it. Right. And I've said it a million times too. Um, you know, it, I, I wish when I was in school, there was some kind of like life class that teaches you how to do your taxes, that teaches you, you know, that you're going to leave college with all these fucking loans, um, teaches you how to be an adult. Yeah. Instead, all it taught me was how to live by the minimum, how to get by by the minimum. Right. How to, what was, how was that? Uh, you know, how to basically live on a hundred dollar budget a week. Uh, yeah. You know, how to steal books. Yeah. Uh, it was like, how to share fucking shit with your friends so like you don't sh- have to buy your teaching own. you how to how to like be street smart in a yeah, way. Yeah, it is. It's true. And it's like who the fuck cares? College stinks. Who cares? So what I was going to ask you what was the the big argument that everyone was like in an uproar about? Was what, it What they did was um they they it's a, a lot of these colleges 
there's not enough women on the sports team. So um, the, uh, the, the moms just said that the daughters were on the row team. Okay. And, and she the wasn't even on the road team? spot to get them into the school because oh, there wasn't okay. anyone in that spot. Was it like a scholarship? Already. Yeah, it's like a scholarship type deal. And it's like, oh, who cares? Pay for the scholarship. If you care, you need to fucking go live your dream. Yeah. And be a snitch and just yeah. take out every <laughs> go be a fucking organization. Patrol off, patrol. What is it called when you parole, parole, parole? A parole officer. Mm-hmm. Go be a parole officer. If you care about this, go be a cop. I thought she was going to say a peruse officer. Same thing. But I'd be perusing. <laughs> Same thing, technically. <laughs> I, right? Do I, you listen, care? I, like, do you care what I don't give a the shit. Aunt Becky's daughter from Full House did? I don't yeah. give a fuck. There was another actress, too, right? I didn't even know Felicity, that bitch existed. Felicity Huffman. Nobody even knows who this bitch is. <laughs> Felicity Huffman. And I'll be honest, you know, I know everything I hear about through, like, my Instagram or comedy like comics will talk about whatever's happening yeah so i kept hearing aunt becky and i was like well aunt becky i didn't even know who it was until it hit me i was like oh aunt becky from full house i don't you know i was out in these streets baby (laughs) (laughs) real niggas ain't watching no full house i was i I was watching full house (laughs) 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 step by step (laughs) you know what i'm saying we was watching all that shit but then we went outside man every day you Every day of the summer. We grew up on that shit. Hell yeah. We grew up on that shit. That shit was fiery. Yeah, exactly. We lost out there and you're all alone. But it wasn't just that show. Everyone knew the fucking songs. I always got that one mixed up with Family Matters too because I felt like they they, they sounded the same. That's true. I don't know. Everyone knew the songs to all those fucking shows. Mm -hmm. That 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 was my shit growing up. All of those shows. Best theme song song? Smart Guy. I don't even and know. And I was like, in life, and that's TJ Henderson. A fine young gentleman. You don't remember? He's a smart guy. Nah. Doo, doo, oh, that doo, was with doo, that young doo, kid doo. that was in the school with the with yeah. the older kids. Oh, the the. Uh, yes. Was... Oh, this was um, those twins. It was like they're, 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 they're younger brother. The writer of the song just died. <laughs> Hot damn, you must have really loved this song. Yeah, right? You no, it's yeah. cut. It's pretty, no, I just happened to know Romeo, someone. he died too, didn't he? He died? He got killed. That's no. Cuba Gooding Jr.'s little brother. Oh my God! Who knew? What Yo, would that's her? I don't know who she is. Look at this little nigga, man. It <laughs> <laughs> wasn't no smart motherfucker. There ain't no smart guy. guys out there. Like, do yeah, because you had both do your do parents. Do. You could afford to be smart, son. He only, he Try only growing up with just your moms and roaches in your house, son. <laughs> See how smart you're going you're gonna be a smart ass. You ain't going to be a smart guy. He's a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> in school, like, what you want? <laughs> 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 oh man let's get into the uh, clip of the week real quick next stop subway creatures clip of the week 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 Petey, i think you were talking about it before uh or you're talking about rats on the track so here's a rat on the train it sounds like a rap song and you can see what people's reaction is to a rat being on the train <laughs> unacceptable Yo, I don't think I would move. Like, I, I'm not... They don't bother me. Like, if it was on, running I on the... Know. Everyone's standing on seats right now. People freaking Yo, out. New York's getting soft, man. <laughs> well, that's been... Getting soft, yeah. man. Is that what it is? Yeah, man. I remember people used to have rat fights. They used to hold the rats <laughs> by the tail and just slap each other with it, man, back in the good old days, yo. It's like... Because we could have swashbuckle and swords, so we just used the rats. And we just <laughs> slap each other with them. So you never just been slapped with a rat? No. <laughs> Swinging that's, around. That's you. when you know you're in New York. That's what I'm saying, yo. No. You're not a real New Yorker until you've been slapped <laughs> with a rat. <laughs> you ain't never just s- s- rat, fi- rat slap fight? No. Oh, man. We used to do that with scooters in Florida, but not rats. That's crazy. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lose a limb like that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Whoa, rat smack. Oh, man. Nah, but. Rat smack. Do you know what? Because I've seen I've seen that happen before. Same reaction. Yeah, and I'm like, here's the thing. Here's my logic, right? We're in like we're below sea level, or wherever that's at, below the street level, right? Right, right. That's their house. Yeah. Yeah. Rats was there first. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like that's they and we they, like we using their house to get back and forth. I also think that people. I feel like the majority of people this doesn't mean so many people are very bored. Oh, and yeah. so for something exciting like a rat to get on train and for them to join this like scare like where mm-hmm. they're all like we're scared too let's all jump up it's like fun for some of these do you know how scared that fucking rat is that's <laughs> what I was thinking too like yo he's like yo come on I was just trying to get this <laughs> yeah. I made a wrong turn <laughs> and now I'm with you you motherfucking gentrifiers yeah, yeah. that's 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 what's happening and that's what's making it soft because we gentrified the rat's house mm. And it's, and, it's, and it's only expanding. It's only getting farther out now there. Now they people bring in their dogs. They don't got to put them in bags no more. You, yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever seen the video of that? With the dogs? There's, there's like a group of people that go out at night uh-huh. with their that. dogs to hunt the rats. Oh, that's foul. Oh, I yeah. fucking swear to God. Oh, wait, the dogs pulling the rats out of the dirt yes. hole? Yes, oh, yes. Bobby, if we can find the dogs. Yo, that's fucked up. We could do a whole episode I on mean, that alone. it is fucking The rats should fucking wild. get together. The rats should join forces. It's yeah. an issue. I saw that video once and I was you like, know what? It's we could of... actually save that for next episode because we could do a whole fucking long thing on that because this, honestly, it's some crazy shit. They like let the dogs off the leash and the dogs... Get the rats in their mouth and they're just fucking. What are you gonna dick tease us for a week now? We can't have to think about it. That's exactly what I'm gonna <laughs> You're do. You're sick fuck. I hope those dogs get hit. <laughs> hit by fucking trains. Yeah. I'm saying you can't. That's the, the rat's house. Yeah, you're you're a rat sympathizer, huh? I gotta be. It's the heart of the city, man. It's fucking New York City, baby. We built up on rats. I'm pigeons, saying, but and t- two seconds slices. ago you were talking about fucking whacking each other with rats in the head. But that and- was we let them go after that. <laughs> We, we, was hurt, someone, we was hurting each other, not the rats. Have you seen one of those recent <laughs> videos where people get into fights and use their dogs on leash as weapons? Oh, my God. I've seen, like, a couple, like, women, like... Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. we'll have to... Well, I don't want to pull... No. I don't want to see that. That's fucking disturbing. I do. Um. All right, let's 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 get into some shameless plugging here. Let's let, uh, let's let Petey go first. Petey, uh, tell us anything you want, where we can find you, where your show is. What do you got coming up? Follow me on the gram, PD's jokes. That's PD... As in David E E Z jokes. Uh, I got everything on there. I got April fifth. I'm doing a half hour at Union Hall in Brooklyn. Uh, the link is on my gram. You can buy tickets. I got a show every Wednesday uh, called Better at Better Days. Every Wednesday, pull up. It's usually fun. Starts around nine o'clock. And other than that, just follow me on the gram. Awesome, Kim. What do you got? Fuck yeah, you guys. Follow me on Twitter, at Kimberly Congdon, at Instagram, at Kim Congdon. Um, I'll be in L.A. Um, next weekend. Uh, so if you're out in L.A., come out. I'm doing uh, Caroline's. I don't know yet. It's a comedy store, <laughs> probably. Okay. I'm about to I figure that out. I love that confidence. Like, I don't know. I'm somewhere. I, I booked the flight, somewhere. then the shows. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure I go. Um, I'll be at Caroline's on April 18th, uh, doing Skank Fest. Nice. Uh, oh, that's coming up, right? Yeah, June 21st uh, through a 23rd. Bit of time. It's little a little bit of time, time but we'll tickets are on sale right that. now. So. Oh, so that's good. Yeah, Definitely yeah, get they're going to sell advance. out. So yeah. if you haven't gotten your Skank Fest tickets, do that. <clears throat> uh, Planned Parenthood, I've got a 3 o'clock appointment on the 27th. Thank you. Um... And yeah, check out my uh, other uh, podcast, Broad Topics. Someone told me that I always say Broad Topics, topics with an X, and they assumed that my podcast was bringing on an ex-boyfriend, and we talk about different topics, so I'm just saying no, topics is spelled with I an X. I know exactly. Well, who the fuck said that? People topics. are like, someone, someone <laughs> yesterday was like, have you ever considered that maybe everyone thinks your podcast is about exes? Because I did, and I was like, no, but I'll make sure elaborate from now on. That it's it, you have topics. to somehow dumb that down even more. Yeah, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> so yeah, that's it. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, we say it every week. Uh, subscribe, uh, rate, review. Um, yeah, absolutely. Use the 14 day free trial uh, for GasDigitalNetwork.com using promo code Subway. Um, you get a uh, the free trial, which not only is our podcast, there's a bunch of others that are awesome. Yeah. Um, and it's also worth subscribing. I know we mentioned it during the show. Um, we have the very not safe for work bonus content that you sick fucks keep sending me. Uh, we'll never get rid of that because as long as you guys are sending it, I'll keep showing it. Fuck yeah. Uh, but you got to be subscribed to the network. So that's gasdigitalnetwork.com using promo code Subway. 
And, Subscribe uh, to our premium network. Mm-hmm. The premium Snapchat. The premium network. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you'll be able to see all that, sh- all that shit. Um, and until next week. <laughs>